So today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into v Visual Basic and WPF and we're going to add an animated GIF to our application. Uh, it's pretty straightforward and we're going to use some um, external libraries so let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and start your project file obviously and we're going to go ahead and select Visual Basic over here and WPF application and we're going to name this uh, Animated GIF App and go ahead and hit enter from there. As my application starts I get this blank application here and what I want to be able to do is now add the library that I'm going to use to be able to run my animated GIF and I have this website I wanted to show you guys it's not a website but it's an application project that they've been doing called uh, XAML Animated GIF. Uh, it used to be called WPF Animated GIF uh, but the one we want to be able to use is XAML Animated GIF to make life a lot easier for us so we don't have to do a whole bunch of coding to get our GIF animated. The way we're going to install this instead of going to the website and downloading the files and, and, and putting it part of our project is we're going to use what's called Get NuGet, which is part of Visual Studios. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to my project and then I'm going to go to Manage, Get, uh, Manage NuGet Packages. When I do that, I'm presented with this tab that opens up here, this animated GIF app tab. And instead of installed, I want to go to browse. And after I do that, I'm going to go in here and type in that XAML animated GIF. Here's the first thing that comes up. As you can see, it has 20, 20K downloads. And I'm just going to go ahead and download that one. It's asking me if I want to install that part of my solution. I want to say yes. And after it's done, as you can see down here in the outputs panel, it is finished installing into my pack into my project. And the way I can really tell that if I go over here to my projects folder and I go into my references folder, if I scroll down there, you will see here that I have the XAML animated GIF. So that's step one. Getting the uh the, the, the project into our project, getting those files into our project and I'm just gonna run my, pro I'm gonna save everything and I'm gonna hit F5 to run my project really quick just so I can make sure there's no errors or nothing and that's completely fine the way it is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and close that <coughs> and the next thing I need to do is create a reference inside of XAML and one thing you'll notice I haven't really, I haven't touched any code yet. I haven't gone in the code behind to do anything. And with the package we installed, we won't have to do that at all if we're just adding an animated GIF. Um, so now what I want to do is go into my Windows XAML right here, right above the grid or whatever you have as a container. So what I'm going to have to do is go right at the end of this title portion here, inside of there. And I'm going to go ahead and add a declaration that looks something like this here. It's just going to look a little different. Oh, it's HTTPS. There we go. And now it pops up. There we go. So this is what we want to go ahead and add there. And I'm going to close some of that gap. Make sure you save everything, and I'm going to run it again just to make sure nothing crashes. And that's exactly what we expect. We haven't added the image yet. We just wanted to make sure none of these declarations caused any issues. So now I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to add an image. I can do that simply by typing image inside of the XAML, or I can come over here and type image and drag that image up here. And here is what, what I would have typed, but I simply did it the easy way and dragged it in there. Now all I have to do is go ahead and add the uh, the image source based off of uh, the the the, um, the classes we embedded into our project. And the way I'm going to do that is just type gif, make some space, uh, animated behavior, and the source. Oops, source. URI and then uh, I'm gonna have to put the source URI here now <clears throat> right now we don't have a source URI we don't have any images in here and I'm gonna leave this error 
here until I get my resources. So that's uh, where that's that's pretty much step two. So the first step was getting the resources we needed into our project. This second step we needed was really just setting up our project to be able to consume the the image or the GIF. Now our our third step would be to actually add the GIF. That could have been the first step. You know, it's up to you. I'm just trying to keep this thing discreet. Discreet. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do and is add the uh, the image and just for educational purposes I'm gonna go online and I'm going to make do myself a search here so I'm going to search for animated fireball gif and I can take this one here let it load and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this right click save this image as I'm just going to save it to my desktop uh, I already had one here called fireball I'm going to just call this fireball fireball one just so we can know that this is completely different for what I for what I did before now I want to go ahead and add that fireball into my application as a resource so there's a couple of ways I can do that. Uh, one of the easiest ways to do that is simply go to project and you're going to go to your project properties and then you're going to go to resource resources and you're going to ignore this part and then you're going to go up here to add existing file and then go ahead and search for that fireball one whatever you called yours and click open and it's called fireball one here I can change this name to anything I want by selecting it coming over here and just changing the name I'm just call that fireball X how about that so that's called fireball X uh, this red dot over here means I'm just need to save it yours might have a star there uh, now I can go ahead and close my resources tab now I can go and add the resources that I need into this image but before I do that I want to run it just to make sure I don't run into any errors uh, based off of anything that I did and yes I'm fine now I'm gonna go ahead and add the resource uh, directly to my image by going in here and typing resources um, fireball actually actually fireball yeah fireball five I think it is let me check the reason oh fireball one dot gif there we go and that should work let's try it out hit f5 okay that didn't work let's see what the issue is so I'm just gonna check the file itself this needs to make make sure that this is at resource which is the case on mine so I select the image here inside of my resources folder and I go to the build action make sure that's set to resource let's see if we can run it okay that must have been the issue right there so now uh, I have my animated gif inside of WPF and there you have it. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me or go ahead and text me 